In this tutorial, we'll go ahead and set up an introduction slide that welcomes learners to the game and a conclusion or result slide that uh, they see once they've completed all of the questions. So in this tutorial, we're only working with two questions, but uh, you most likely will have at least three, maybe five, maybe more. So I'm gonna make a new layer. So there's a couple different ways we could do this, but a slide layer is really a, probably my preferred way of doing it. And what we'll do is just show this slide layer when the movie first plays. So create a new layer and we'll call this one introduction. And it doesn't matter where this layer is, but since it's an intro layer, I just like it on the bottom so I can see things in order, but it absolutely doesn't matter where this layer uh, appears. So just add a, just another one of those background graphics for the content. Add a little bit of transparency, color white, line color, good. And go ahead and just have an in image here I can insert. So picture, image introduction. And let's just add a text box. So control T and control V. There's some text that I quickly typed out. All right, welcome to the game. Uh, we want a little button right here that says, uh, go ahead and close this slide layer. So let me grab my yellow button. So control C and let's just paste it. So what do we want to do with this button is uh, when you click this, go ahead and just close, uh, hide this layer and then get on with it. I actually need to arrange this real quick. So arrange the line and then align the center. The rest of that's fine. button, continue. So hide layer, right? That's our action, our trigger right here. Hide this layer when user clicks button continue. And that just, that'll just jump it right back down here to the travel game. Now we just need a, tri a trigger here that on this base layer that says what? Well, show me that layer of my introduction when the timeline starts and the timeline being of this main slide. So as soon as the timeline starts, show me that layer and um, basically give me the intro. And to make things easy, let's just duplicate this introduction slide and we'll call this one conclusion. And we can say, thanks for playing. Thanks for playing the travel game. And we don't need a button here. So we just have a little goodbye message. And we wanna show this layer when something else happens. So if I jump back down here to my base layer, let's just show that layer when the two cover graphics for cover one and cover two are normal, right? So no triggers, just using basic uh, uh, triggers here, no variables, just basic triggers to evaluate what's been viewed and what hasn't been. So my trigger here would be show layer, conclusion, not when I click, but when the state of all of cover one and cover two are normal, right? So that's when those, two, when those are all showing up, then go ahead and uh, show me that final layer. Now, again, if you have three or five, uh, 10 buttons here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all of those covers are included here when you show that conclusion layer. And that's really it. There's a lot of different things we could do to personalize this and make this a little bit more game-like, but for getting up to speed quickly and creating a really simple game, this is a very good start. If you have any questions whatsoever, please post in the comments below or in the forums, and we'll do our best to help you out and uh, get you up and running. So thanks a lot.